Hi guys, I'm going to try a 3D printed catapult, Da Vinci catapult, I think he calls it, designed by Brian Brocken. Uh, he's Brybro12 on Thingiverse, but he's got a YouTube channel as well, so there'll be links in the video description to uh, this and Back in, well, almost a year ago, last March, I did his wind-up clockwork uh, car. And I didn't do it very well. Um, I printed it wrong. It still worked, but it didn't work as well as it probably could have done. And Brian's just recently commented on that video, congratulating me on having a go. So he's very polite about it. Um, and that prompted me to have another look at his channel and see what else I could do. So this is what we're going to have a look at, the um, catapult. I'm going to see if I can do it without reading the instructions. I've looked at the video and I think I can work it out. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. Oh, ten pieces. So we ought to be all right. I can get them out. I could probably use cutters, but I think we'll be all right with the knife. If I don't cut myself in front of the camera. Cutting onto the cutting board is probably a good idea, instead of struggling. Oh, well, I won't try and explain it, we'll just see if I can get it together. I do need some string. I'm hoping I can get away with some kite string. It's a little bit awkward to cut. Okay. I'll go and look for some string. Right, I've watched his video and I was right, I do need to put a couple of turns round there. In fact, I think he puts three turns round on either side. You'll see what I mean when I do it. And I also found on the floor a bit of plastic that I'd lost, which goes through the base there to hold that in place. But I think the bits I put in, oh, I haven't said that, that one's fallen out. Okay, we'll see if we can put the proper bit in. with a pair of pliers mm -hmm. to do that. Take this off for a second. Just try to work out which way round it's going to.
Right, we'll give it a try. For a projectile, I'm using a little bit of blue tack. Because if that hits the windows, it's not going to break them, he says, hopefully. It's soft. So. Okay. Press that on there. And I'll go all the way down there in the line of fire and pull the trigger. I have no idea how high that went. Well, I think I can see a mark up on the window. There seriously is no hope of seeing it, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> it literally hit me on the head. Wow. That was quite a shock because I didn't see it coming. It's too small, but it did just hit me. So range wise, I was sitting on the floor there with my back against the door. The door to the archway there is five metres. So, yeah, about six, maybe seven metres range we got there. That's not bad. And considering I was sitting straight in line and <laughs> it hit me on the head, yeah, accurate too. Just in case you didn't notice what I'd done, I'd actually stuck it to the ground with blue tack so it didn't rock about or anything. There's nothing to stop it sliding along otherwise when you're trying to pull this from a distance. But yeah, brilliant, Brian. <laughs> Total success. Just a thought. I suppose I ought to mention that being as you're pulling it in that direction and it's firing in that direction, so you are in the firing line, that is potentially a bit of a design flaw. I don't think I've assembled it backwards. I can't see any way that you can assemble it the opposite way round, so it tensions in the opposite direction. No, because if you do it that way, you'd need that over there. No, it's still going to come towards you. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, bit of a bit of an issue that if you're going to build one of these and launch it, either use eye protect eye shields or make sure you're well out of the way. Hmm. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.